Gramps wants me to track down the old Midnight Society, get their clues, find the silver site, and destroy it once and for all, like they should have done years ago. Tell us about the silver site thing again. Well, it's a charm, probably a small thing, but it has some kind of power that can really hurt people. Oh, man, I'm not liking this. Your Gramps was a good guy, right? The best. I gotta find out why he died. <sighs> okay, give me a name, quick, before I change my mind. All right. Thanks, Meg. Why don't we just find the guy that hid the thing in the first place? He died the day after he hid it. Oh, man. This just keeps getting better. I'll help. And me too. But not by myself. No problem. How about the two of you work together? All right? Don't you think this is a little bit out of bounds? It's all right, Quinn. You don't have to help, man. You know I'll help. Because if this thing gets nasty, you're going to need me. Great. All right, Tuck and I will take care of the fourth thing. Now remember, it's pieces of the record that we need. That's where the clues are. We'll meet tomorrow in my dorm room for a status report, OK? All right, let's hit it. No chance this is right. Waste of time. Yo! Anybody here? I'm looking for... Oh, man. If you want to bite me, you're going to have to catch me. Oh. Help me! Help! Somebody help! Get the dog! Somebody! Get the dog! Help! Get the dog! What's your problem? Whatever it was, it's gone now. How come you have a beware of dog sign out front? Because I ain't got no dog. From. Good question. You look lost. Actually, I'm looking for 224 Walker Court. It's not here anymore. <laughs> sure it is. Hello? You're standing right on it. Nothing's there. No, you're standing on it. She's down there. Yeah, sure. I know what you're looking for. Really? What? The silver sight. If you want it, follow me. No way, forget it. I can't believe I'm doing this. Somebody. Here? <laughs> Good luck. This is 33 Cow Street, right? Kid, I got any piece of junk that's been made in the last 50 years, but I'm fresh out of people. Now get. Her name's Donna Tilton. 
Why are you looking for her? Uh, see, I I'm part of this club, and we're looking for all the old members. It's cool, really. I'm not trying to make any trouble. You talking about that Midnight Society something or other? Yeah, that's it. Unless that's a bad thing, then I'm not. Come on. I'm here, kid. Kid? <laughs> Hello? Hey, wait! Don't run, it's all right! Outfit, because I thought I'd be visiting some really nice house. I didn't plan on being in some really strange house. Step into my office. Sorry about the mess. Secretary's day off. So, uh, how'd you get this address? I uh, talk to people, you know? Uh, smart kid, huh? Depends. On what? On if you know Donna Tilton. Oh, I know her, all right. Back in high school, Donna and I were the golden couple. Homecoming king, queen, the works. Oh, she was a beaut. Never seen anyone since even came close. So did you marry her or something? No. Ran into the worst string of bad luck you ever saw. I was a star athlete. Broke my leg. Got in a car accident. Nearly bought the farm. Then a fire hit our house. Family got out, but I ended up in the hospital. It was as if this dark cloud of bad luck settled in over me and decided to stay. That's pretty tough. Yeah. But the worst was still to come. What have we here? Were you announced? <sighs> Whew, five miles. I beat the 1102 out of... Whoa! Who is this? We don't know, dear. She hasn't told us yet. Peggy, dear, did you leave the manhole open again? No matter. She's here now. We were just about to have some refreshments. Would you care to join us? Please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. While I was in the hospital, Donna started seeing another guy. No way. While you were sick? Well, I can't say I blame her. I mean, nothing was going right for me. But still, that's pretty cold. See, that's... that's her. Pretty as can be. I was going to try and get her back. But before I got out, she went driving with her new boyfriend. It was an accident. Only one of them made it. Please tell me it was Donna. This is gonna sound nuts, but I gotta tell you, it almost felt 
like there was some kind of force at work, trying to keep us apart. Sorry to bring up bad memories, man. Where are you going? I gotta go tell my friends that Don is gone. I haven't heard the whole story. I didn't mean to. I got it. What's that? Look out! Ouch! I know what this is. It's coming after me again. What is? The silver scythe, it's back. Leave me alone! You've ruined my life! What more do you want? You know about the silver scythe? That's what I'm looking for. Don't. Don't even go near it. I'm telling you, pal. Every bit of bad luck I had was because of that monster. Leave it alone. Did Don ever tell you about a record? I mean, a piece of a record that somebody gave her. It's real important, man. That's it. That's the record. Oh, no. It's the only thing I got left of Donna's. But I gotta have it. What for? Because we're trying to find this silver side thing and destroy it. If it's still hurting people, I mean, maybe you ought to help me out. I'll make you a deal. You do something for me, and I'll give this to you. No sweat. What do you want? When I was in the hospital, I drew a picture of Donna. You want me to get the picture? Fine. Where is it? It was stolen from me by the same guy who stole Donna. Lane Candle. Lane Candle? He was in the Midnight Society. Yeah. Get me back that drawing. I'll give you the record. Eleanor Gregory was my mother. She passed on years ago. Oh. Oh, no, that's OK. <laughs> that's ancient news. I don't mean to be rude, but don't you find it odd that we live down here? <laughs> it is a bit dank, but we have no choice. Mother made a fortune in the stock market before she was 20. We always had the finest of everything until it all went sour. Oh, wonderful tea, dear. <laughs> so what happened? Suddenly, every decision Mother made was the wrong one. It's as if she were cursed. Eventually, her empire crumbled. What you see here is all that we have left. You're very pretty. <sighs> Why are you down here? Well, you can't make a fortune without also making some enemies along the way. <laughs> they took everything they could. Our clothes. Most of our cars. The mansion that used to stand right above us. Why, if we didn't hide down here, they would have taken everything. Look back. Oh, yes. The Gregory Empire will rise from the ashes and we'll be back on top again. <laughs> How? I don't know. I'm working on it. Why are you so interested in Mother Eleanor? My friends and I are looking for this charm called the Silver Sight. Uh oh. Please, dear, don't get out. What did I say? That thing is what caused Mother's ruin. If it wasn't for that horrid charm, we wouldn't have to live down here like rats. Yeah, but what, what, what do you want it for? Hmm? Hmm? To use its vile magic? My mother did it. Look where it got us. No, but we're going to destroy it. <laughs> you can't destroy it. It can only destroy you. Now get out. Finish your tea, dear. Thank you, sweetie. Wait. Back off, buddy. 
It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. We're not as weird as you think. A at least I'm not. That's nice. I'm glad. Goodbye. Wait. You're looking for that broken piece of the record, right? Well, yeah. I can get it for you. But, but you have to come back later, once my father's calmed down. Why would you help me? You think I like living in the sewer? If destroying the silver sight will get us out of here, then I'll do whatever it takes. I wouldn't mind seeing the sun again. Okay, I'll be back in a few hours. What would you think? Sorry. Hey, check this out. Midnight Society, 1937. So how'd you guys do? Not good. We've been to the library, we've been online, we've called everywhere, but we can't seem to find any record of Bruce McGorrow. Well, there's gotta be some trace somewhere. Keep looking, all right? Hello? Grandma? Hello? Hello? What? Come on. Easy. Why are they? Whoa, what's with that smell? Megan's been in the sewer. Nah, smells more like bad perfume. That's it. If anyone wants me, I'll be hanging with the stinky mole people. Hey, what's this? The original Midnight Society. Which one's Donna Tilton? I think that's her. Excellent, I can use this. We have the worst assignment, you know. Let me try. I can't just vanish without a trace. Hello? Hello, Quinn. Uh, hey. My name's... Wait, how'd you know my name? I know a lot of things. Looking for a picture? Well, yeah. Come on. Hey, yo! Weird little kid. Uh, come on, stop messing around. What you're supposed to... to... I'm looking for... That! This is her, right? Donna Tilton? Looks like her. Excellent! You can't just take that. Yeah, I can. It doesn't belong to him. I'll tell you about it later. You keep going. You'll look like that picture. Say what? Mr. Gregory? Are you? Lang Candle! General Lang Candle. Where are the Gregories? <laughs> I threatened to call the police and they scampered off like rats. What are you looking for? The record. You want their piece of the record. You're the traitor. How many pieces of the record have you found? None of your business. I can make you tell me. What are you gonna do, run me over? Perhaps. Go home, girl, you hear me? Leave the 
to recite to me? Please help us, Jim. It's a race that has no winners. You be careful, kid. I don't know what the silver sight is, but it hurt me. It hurt Donna. and downs. 